Prahlada means Ajagaramuni. Prahlada was once touring to study the world and came to the banks of the river Kaveri where under the shade of a tree he saw a sage with a robust and lustrous body, a gracious smile and a radiant look. Prahlada prostrated to him and humbly requested to know him, the sage who was observing the Ajagravritti, the python's way of living, said that he was much gratified to have met Prahlada and began to tell about himself. Prahlada, I have passed through innumerable births, from the worm upwards to the bird, animal and man, and came to the conclusion and conviction that liberation is to be sought for only in, sought for only in the human birth. For that man must be beyond activity. Pleasures are tra transitory and lead to pain. Renunciation leads to permanent joy. That joy is in man. Not knowing this, men search for it outside. Wealth is source of bondage and anxiety. It leads to desires. One must be beyond desires. The bee collects honey. Man kills the bee and robs its honey. But the python lies motionless with or without food, has a robust body and is ever happy. The bee and the python have been my guides and spiritual teachers. I accept whatever is obtained through providence. I have no engagements or activities. I remain with dress or without dress. I move on vehicles or without vehicles. I smear scents or dust. I sleep on sofas or on bare ground. I eat anything offered sweet, bitter, salt or bitter. I ask for uh, I ask nobody for anything. I do not refuse what others give. I feel neither joy nor sorrow. I neither praise nor abuse others. I always live in the self. Since you are a great devotee of the Lord, I have revealed my secret to you. Prahlada saluted to him in due reverence and departed.